in my first live stream and this might be a little different than what I usually do because on YouTube I'm usually like posting MMA videos on YouTube especially like the older fo footages basically I'm trying out with some new ideas for for doing on YouTube like like I said, my my uh, my other last video, like, am I trying to monetize any one of the MMA fights at all? I'm just posting them so that everybody can watch and relive like the glory days of the golden age of MMA before they became mainstream. So yeah, uh, this is my first time doing my live stream, and. Who knows? Maybe I might do this in the future. We don't know. So right now, we're going to be discussing some... I don't know. I, I, actually, I really don't know because this is my first time doing this live stream. I think we could still talk about MMA or other stuff that you guys might be interested in. Okay, so I'll just tell you a little bit by myself to begin with. Uh, you can see my YouTube my YouTube channel's name is Mark Amazon. That's my name. And I am a big MMA fan, especially with Pride, Shuto, what most most of the fights are, are in Japan. Like that's my main focus. Like for me, like I want to like Someday, like, I am training in MMA. That's what I'm trying to do so that I can compete professionally in Japan, especially in Japan, because I really don't have any interest in competing in uh, here in America because in America, MMA, there's too many rules that uh, you're not allowed to use knees or soccer kicks or you can't use the 12 to 6 elbow strikes. Like those are not allowed in, in uh, American MMA, but in Japan it's a lot different. Where it's actually more valetudo style. Like you can do soccer kicks, foot stomps, knees to the ground of opponent, as well the tw twelve to six elbows. And also, interestingly, like in Ryzen, like if the pulp, if your opponent is like thirty pounds heavier, the, the lighter opponent has the choice of letting their opponents use knees to the ground or not. Like, the usually the lighter opponent has the choice. So, yeah, uh, that's my dream. I mean, that's why I'm focused on... Uh, I want to have fights in Japan. Like, I want to compete in there. Like, that's my dream. Like, my dream is to go to the Ryzen. Because I know, like, a lot of people say, like, uh, Ryzen doesn't have the best competition, but you know, in MMA, it's like nowadays with a lot with all these celebrities promoting with sports, such as you know the Paul brothers. There's KSI as well. Bryce Hall, he's trying to do bare knuckle boxing, which is a little not, not my favorite kind of sport. Bare knuckle, like that's what that's what it, that's what it is nowadays. Like especially in Japan, like back in the early days in Japan where a lot of, like, pro, like a lot of pro wrestlers try to cross promote with, uh, with the Japanese promotions such as Pride, Heroes, and what else? Uh, Dream as well. And some, and Sengoku as well. Like a lot of these, like, I mean, that, there is a term for this, this term. It, it's actually called Enokiism. Basically, it's just what Enoki would say. Like, basically, Enokiism is just where pro wrestlers try to test themselves, their toughness against uh, legitimate fighters and a real legitimate fight. Like, no match fixing, nothing like that. Such such as, uh, for example, like Minowa Man. Kazuyuki Fujita, 
even Sakuraba. And as well, even though I don't like this fighter, Kiyoshi Timur as well. And what, yeah. And for me, like, well, actually, yeah, but like for me, I, I, I love to all these MMA fights in Japan because they're all more interesting and more entertaining than what here in America does. And pretty much all of this stuff originated from Japan. That's where it all started. Which which is the... Well, actually, for those of you who don't know what at the mixed martial arts started, it actually started where and no, uh, Muhammad Ali, he called out anybody to fight him, and they he even wagered $1 million for anybody to fight him. And that's where and Antonio Noki, the, like, one of the best pro wrestlers of all time, challenged... Muhammad Ali to this fight, which kind of pioneered the mixed martial arts where you had pro wrestling versus boxing. But a lot of people don't know about this, but the match was not a very exciting one because Antonio Noki pretty much spent most of his time on his back on the floor for all 15 rounds. And Muhammad Ali only landed six punches in total in all 15 rounds. Yeah, it was it was brutal. It was a long, long time to watch all that stuff. So, yeah. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, I'm a big fight fan. Know, like, know the history, the events, all that stuff. So, for me, like, what I will, what I want to do is basically just, um, just work hard, save up, so that I can finally start my new life in Japan because that's where I would love to go and move, spend all my life there in that country, Japan, because I feel like I have no place here in America because. I don't really fit well with most people, and also I don't have a very close relationship with my uh, parents or my siblings, nothing like that. Well, I mean, that's why I try to study the language, the culture, history. I pretty much watch every single YouTube video about Japan regard uh, every time. So, yeah, if you think about visiting Japan, I suggest you try to watch the videos before you make plans to go to Japan. I mean, for me, like, I mean, I, I mean, I am seeing someone in Japan, like, I, yeah, I mean, it's going well with her, me and her. Uh, I hope, like, I can finally see her in person. I mean, I do have a, I do have some anim, anime collectibles. Okay, so right there, I uh, pretty much have all those anime collectibles up there. So in the future, maybe this year, I'm probably planning to sell them because I kind of realize like I don't really don't really have the use for them because I think it might be a little too much to take them with when I'm moving in Japan. I mean, I think it's best to sell them like as, as right now, because so, it might take a lot, a lot of money to, to specialize, to take them with me to Japan. So, and plus I think I can get them a lot cheaper when I'm in, in Japan, because over here in America, they might be, they're a little bit more expensive. So yeah, um, that's pretty much what I'm doing. And for me, is I'm still playing. I'm still figuring out what kind of career I want to do. I mean, like I could work at a store. I could work in a factory in Japan, or work at a retail store, or anything like that. And while training to be a fighter. Because a lot of times, like, 
like especially with the UFC as it is, like some some fighters in the UFC did complain about the fighter pay. Like uh, I, I heard about this news article where uh, Ryan Bader, like he lost all of his sponsors because of the Reebok deal for the UFC. So he he got so basically he lost like maybe ten thousand dollars of sponsors because of the Reebok deal, and he had to get like a, another job to pay off his training medical bills all that stuff i mean that's that's the, that's the suckiest part whenever you're finding the ufc is you see this is what a lot of people don't know about when it comes to fighting either you're in it for the legacy trying to fight the best fighters or you're trying to make the most money and try to set yourself alive when it comes to fighting you see, that's what a lot of people think, like, in the mis mixed martial arts. Like, they don't really care about the competition. Like, they want, they want like, uh, just they just want to make the biggest money from the biggest fights. I mean, that's, what, that's kind of where we're at, at the career. Such as, like, Conor McGregor. Like, I, I don't think Conor McGregor is going to fight at all. I think he always talks shit a lot of times because he wants the most attention and also he brings eyes to the sport. And what and what else? What else? Um, yeah, I mean, like in Japan, like even though there might be not be tough competition in Japan, but hey, at least it brings entertainment value. I mean, that's what matters in Japan. You see, that's what that's. That's kind of what the difference is when it comes to the American mixed martial arts and Japanese mixed martial arts. Like in America, they treat it as like a, a real sport with re regulations and rules. In Japan, they kind of treat it as more like an entertainment value. You know, they want to see like really exciting fights. And yes, they still they still want to see some techniques, good exhibitions like that. But it's mostly just about entertainment, which that's kind of like my interest. Like. So, such as fighters like Bob Sapp, like even though Bob Sapp might not be the best fighter, well, actually, he's never the best fighter. He basically brings a lot of entertainment value when it comes to fighting and also his size as well. Like if he actually did take training seriously, I think he would have been like a major threat, like in today's standards. Like I could have seen him possibly fight Francis Ngannou. You know, Bob Sapp versus Francis that got two of the biggest heavyweights of all time. So, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, this is just pretty much what I'm doing right now. I'm just, you know, some occasions just posting a couple of MMA videos for you guys to see. And some occasions I might post videos of just me talking or showing tell or maybe come up with some new ideas to post on YouTube you know uh, yeah basically uh, yeah I mean like uh, this is pretty awkward right I don't know what else to say because this is my first time live streaming and I hope it's entertaining, or at least you guys are listening, or at least are understanding what what kind of stuff I'm doing or what I'm going through, you know, stuff like that. But uh, if eventually, if I do manage to save up, I'll definitely post some videos when I'm in, whenever I'm in Japan. I will do that while posting videos of MMA. Like, let's just hope it doesn't get taken down because of copyright infringements, all that stuff. So I'm probably going to, like, may, if there's a possibility, maybe I could post a couple of U UFC videos just in case if I don't get taken down. You know, just my first time, just non-scripted, just talking. If anybody's, if anybody's even watching or anything like that. 
So, uh, yeah, I mean, like, you know, just post tell me what kind of stuff you're doing, what you're going through. I mean, for me, like, I'm not really struggling. It's just, like, it's, I kind of don't know what what kind of careers I want to do or anything like that. But uh, eventually, I will fight. It's just I don't know. Like, I do have a – I do see a training camp around this air, around my area where there's a – they do train professional fighters to compete. Like, I just need to do more research on it and think about, like, which – which uh, which weight – to fight at because right now I weigh like uh, maybe 140 43 or 139 it, it kind of varies it just depends how much I eat or how much I lose weight so yeah eventually I will fight let's just hope I can find a good training camp to watch and I post a bit you know post some sparring sparring footage some training sessions anything like that and hopefully, I can fight in Ryzen and become the champion. So yeah, I mean, like that's pretty much what what I'm trying to go through. You know, just working, working a good stable job, and also fighting, and also just try to expand my hobbies. Trying to like do something new stuff like instead of me doing the same stuff like i always do i just want to like expand my hobbies you know learn learn new stuff maybe play an instrument try to read more books like right now i am still learning like like two languages at the moment i am learning like two languages at the moment as well you know try trying out live streaming um, that's that's a new thing you can do. Try a live stream, and also training. Train. A lot of people have have a uh, different ways of training. Some people like it's a lifestyle; they want to stay in shape, or others want to, like training to fight, to compete, <clears throat> or they just want to have a nice looking body. You know, a lot of people do training for different reasons, and. I don't know, maybe learn new skills like how to fix a car or what else? Maybe fix a house as well. Maybe I can learn how to do that stuff in the future. So, yeah, at the moment, I am working at a retail store. It's called Burlington's. I don't know if a lot of people knows about that. So, yeah, I mean, like... I am trying like different odd jobs. Like, I mean, I, I had my experience with working like two, re two restaurant jobs. Like, uh, I tried a, a family owned restaurant, which is really bad. Like the management, the manager does not like me. She was kind of racist to me. And also I think, I think she would, she was kind of belittling me as well. I mean, at the time where I was working at that independent family restaurant, like everybody got their paycheck it's like, except me. I was like the last one to get my paycheck. And the other, the other restaurant, well, actually, it's not really a restaurant. It's more like a fast food. It was called Subway. I was terrible. As well, I was making a sandwich for this customer, and the manager just grabbed the sandwich and threw it away. And I, and I told her, like, why'd you do that? that? That sandwich for the customer, and she didn't know. And also, she kind of did have an attitude against me. And also, I'm just trying to make the sandwich, and already she wanted to have problems with me. So, yeah, I left there. So... For, it, for those of you who are trying to apply for jobs, I suggest do not work at a restaurant or any food industry because it, it's not going to go well. Unless you have a strong passion for cooking or something like that, then I guess go right ahead. But if you, but if you just want to get the experience or just try to find any kind of jobs, I don't recommend work, working at any food industry restaurant or, or fast food. 
so yeah for the past moments like i did work at walgreens and well at bell's bell's is kind of like a retail store it's kind of the same thing like ross's but right now i'm working with burlington's which burlington's has been like really good really nice people good hours and also i'm able to I'm able to take, and I'm also able to wear casual clothing because a lot of people prefer to wear casual clothes rather than their uniforms. <coughs> so, yeah, I mean, I'll probably continue working at, at this job at the moment until I figure something out, until I figure out what else I can do. Because right now, my because because right now my my goal at the moment is try to save save as much as I can for my for my moving to Japan because I'm not planning to live here in this country for so long because I'm already getting tired of America and plus I don't have any attachment to this place at all. And plus, I, I'm not really that close to with my family anyways. So I hope I could start my new life in Japan. So, yeah, I mean, there you go. This is my first live stream. Just post in the comments if you want me to do again some other time. So that's all I have for today. And I'll see you guys later. Bye. Jane. Stop.